bad thing. But the pitch from Team Secret realizing that, uh, again, they just have to be as proactive as they can. The one kill that really surprised me was Envy getting that shot off onto the top mid player of Talon while he was on short, just uh, again using that Sheriff. So it was a little bit more expensive than I was, ho uh, was expecting for Talon there. Knocked uh, out to try to clear some of this util, but it's a bit of a further forward alarm bot here. Enemy mark. We'll stay standing for the time being as that drone is to check on the one. They're just hovering on the alarm bot for the moment. I wonder if they're going to be able to punish for this since they activated so early. Enemy's right there. Nothing yet, though. Yeah, this a is... Recon. Yeah, they're just baiting for you, though. Oh, Vash was swinging. He might have actually spotted Governor there for a brief moment, but as he continues swinging out, Ooh. trying to take down Ban, he ends up falling. Jeremy, though, pushing forward, spotting one, finding the kill, trying to dash away, and Borkum there with the covering fire. Down, Keeps mid. Jeremy alive. Paranoia through now. NDG crashing Last forward, up standing. by bench. It's the elimination, and Jin Boys has been spotted right as that smoke does bloom. Just the one kill so far. So, oh, Jin Boys. Fired into the void, and the void fired left. back. Yeah, this is difficult. 26 HP. Might as well just try to re-attack the same angle, just in case anybody over-pushes. Just trying to get any damage that he can deal. Take away one more of these weapons. The time Ten is going to be left. running low. And can't quite find it. So waiting for any ults to become available here. Players close, but no one quite having it yet. We'll sec. It's just a quick clear on the dart. Start inching forward. Turret is set up. Make that initial contact. And Ooh, oh, take flight. Minor oopsie. It could have been, you know, a bit of uh, softening up to for Talon too. Chit Boys is going to be the one lingering here to try to maybe. Beat out secret a little bit more. They just stuck within main. Well, the rest of the team Take flight. wants to try to cross over, but oh, Jeremy actually just pushing forward, finding that kill. Exposed. Cloud burst down, flash not really catching much there. NDG, oh no, they're not really checking for him. Governor Spike down. dashing Defender forward. Spawn. Just managed to avoid getting taken down first and foremost, and then actually gets the answering fire. Nice paranoia cover there coming through from Cruz to help get the kill. So with Governor so very low, this is so incredibly left. winnable for the side of Team Secret, especially as Jeremy is waiting in boats. Ooh, wait, that's Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy finding it. Last Let's get that standing. kill. And now it's all on Lenny. Spike down, B. I have the spike. It's the first grabs the spike. Rotating around the side, sends out a shock dart with the quick little bounce. Come facing, and there's no hope in hell. It's really disrupting way. the push for Talon for the most part. Standing ahead. Dart out, here comes the rush, gets the ping on the one, the Odin. Letting loose, just about able to find one, and Governor gonna be taken down by NDG. Knives get a bit of damage there onto the enemy Killjoy, but cannot find the elimination. Now the tag is in, Shock Dart to try to chase them out of main. They're unable to stay away from it. Yeah, love that too, that you're using your own teammate's Nano Swarm to stop your opponents from pushing. And even though you take the, you know, reduced damage, you still are able to continually damage Talon as they exit out. So it was kind of a lose-lose situation for Talon that if they chase Jesse Bash, they're going to have to chase him inside of that Nano Swarm. Be on the check wine. Zero point. Not ready yet. Catch everybody else as the paranoia is ready to go here. Lenny not sending the drone over towards Tree. Be able to get the spot there on Envy, who now swings out, catching Lenny, trying to interrupt this plan. Pop I flash out, does get the full blind there on to Envy, but now it is just Cruz left standing, and this doesn't have any kind of weaponry to get anything done. The cleanup will come through, the defuse will happen, and Team Secret will take the lead. Now three rounds consecutively for them. Yeah, I wonder what Governor is going to try to go for an, an attack side operator, right? They've got the lost Long. bonus already. 2,000-ish creds plus. Proceed to fall apart from there. Odin is going to be in the hands of Lenny, though. And it's just an opening fragment. 
Sent over towards A main. Try to stop the push from coming through. Blocking sight. Kind of surprised to not see it's like a slight setup for Jit Boys. I mean, they want to have this presence to stop any encroachment from coming through B main, but it's one off from having that lockdown. Maybe we'd see a play for it over at A. Yeah, it's always how you want to see attackers play here on Ascent, clearing up that mid control to force something from the defenders. But so you do realize this. That's why you see Morkum using one of his smokes for the one way on A short that delays a little bit of something. And now that there's no contact for the like the past 10 to 15 seconds, Team Secrets is just okay giving up a little bit more of that control, playing in the farther positions of each site. Oh, Hunter's Fury opened up. I mean, they seem very convinced that this is going to be a push coming through from short. And Talon going to be very much happy to see that ult just go out for absolutely nothing, especially with Jim Boys is locked up on the horizon, but left. it still might not be a good time for him. Jesse Bash able to find Ban, taking him down, but Governor and Jit Boys getting one apiece. So now Storms get lobbed in, and GG is lurking here within the smoke. Down to 30 HP, goes pushing forward, got the spot there on to the kill joint. Needs to clear the turret and does so before taking damage. Now lockdown going to be invested. Ten seconds left. Counter lockdown coming through. Right here. Attacking one already destroyed. They need to get rid of this defender one. Push forward, Jit Boys rushing. Does manage to give his life for the cause. Get rid of that util. Get the quick tap here. Onto the KO, faking the res, but Borkum, it ends up costing him his life. And she's the last one stand. Swings out, no HP. Does end up falling, and Talon keep it now tied up at three. Oh, up now in the hands here of Jeremy. Players just outside of his reach as the, the drone gets drone. ready to fly. So he's just going to hold the angle, clears it out. Now they know that there's an all present. See how that affects the decision making here for Talon. It's smoke again. They're going to go straight for this. Jesse Bash hears it. Oh, yeah, I mean, they're making so much noise. There's no ambiguity about this one, but the paranoia timing. It's damn good. They're looking to try to get this Hunter's Fury across, trying to get the catch, but it's going to be Ban, who's a little bit faster. Finds the headshot. Cruz has to go on a cancel there from his ult. This Borkum stuck here within wine, but you can see where Cruz is looking. It seems like he's got a pretty good idea. There could be a player in that position. Now they absolutely know it. Paranoia Scent is going to try to swing out, but it's not ready for Lenny. That added little bit coming through. Yeah, Jeremy no. on the flank just has to hightail it. Hold on to the op. Yeah, but look at Jet Boys already. He's aware that Jeremy's going to be doing this, and Jeremy. One enemy <laughs> remaining. <laughs> he was preparing himself, but Jet Boys is too quick. Maybe NDG can fight Jet Boys and secure that operator, but. What an exit. God. <laughs> just throws it into the oblivion, you know? No chance. Yeah. So we'll just be NDG. Left sat here within the B site as the spike goes off, and Talon. They are going to take the lead. What a call. Revealing area. Very nicely set up. Four man push now. Coming down short and that does identify Governor. Ship Boys was staying tucked away, not wanting to get darted. Paranoia goes across, does manage to find, I believe, two players there. The reveal is absolutely monstrous though. And he cheat able to find Lenny. Some trade backs coming through here. Now equalizes, Cruz is able to pick up one. Jeremy gets taken down. That advantage now into the hands of Talon as Envy's desperately trying to chase in behind, but just couldn't quite get the shots through. They round the corner, the break line of sight. Now, Marquis and Borkum try and see if they can retake this B side for themselves. Spike planted. Two different angles of attack for the defenders here. They just open the door for Borkum, but because of the one-way smoke, Envy immediately realizes maybe he can just find a different way of approach. Look at the pocketing here from Talon, Surprising. playing every single direction. Okay, at least that blade should find one the one surprise. in B main. Oh, right the timing, but in B waits, he swings back in. Headshot is good, and Ban goes down. Last player standing. Cruz, however, catching him, pushing up into the smoke. Borkum now gonna try his one luck at it. Remaining. He wins out the fight. His smoke. Good boys now. Go. Oh, just gets the timing. Hang back to avoid that zero point. The big creep forward as well. Three players. 
Set outside of A main. Now, gonna go on a push. Recon comes down, they get the reveal at least onto one. Ooh. Damage not found yet. Now that tailwind going to be expiring, but Jeremy moving forward, still keeping himself here at Gelato. Does he want to go further? He, gets he jumps onto the corner, but he can't get the transition. Kills off Ban. Who's there to equalize? That's what they were kind of hoping for. Jeremy, though, ideally he wanted to get both of them, but definitely gonna not, not going to happen. I like how Governor is just on Outlaw, right? Realizes that this could be right here. just somewhat of a weaker buy for Team Secret, so he's just banking on the here. body taps. Ooh, NEG, are you prepared for here. this peak? He's prepared in the sense that he has armor. So the shot not going to get the instant kill. Governor taking a little bit of damage on the jump across, but does hold on to his life for now. 30 seconds left. Dart set up here from Jesse Bash if they continue to push up onto mid. Thankfully enough, NDG did survive, so. Yep, exactly that. That alarm bot's gonna trigger. At least alert them that Cruz is lurking somewhere. Oh. But Envy Sista. Snappy shot. Yep, the dashboard, no one checking. Over onto the side, Governor as well. Two HP remaining on him. Nearly able to find the kill. Fragment now going down, Governor inching forward. Needs to be careful with the dart. Lands at his feet. What a paranoia. Jesse finding the elimination, and Lenny can't get the lineup with the outlaw. One kill found. A secret. They will rally back, keep things neck and neck. We're almost. Uh, almost, yeah. Oh, yeah. Zero point gonna be eaten. They should have a decent idea that there's gonna be an operator in Jeremy's hands, just given that he's been trying to use this a lot more than he normally would. Dash at the ready. Governor watching to see if he goes for this deep push out onto the catwalk. But for now, he's just gonna stay put. Doesn't want to overextend. We'll just hang back. In the meantime, though, Talon getting ready for this execute. Flash goes in, NDG again back there, sees the dash in from Governor, puts him down low on HP. Trying to get the wall bang, eventually he's able to find it. Jesse Bash in the meantime gonna be eliminated. Ban coming in with the kills, Borkum. TP's into Boathouse here to try to reinforce NDG's position. They swing out on the back of the flash, but it's gonna be Lenny and Shit Boys coming out on top. And V now making his way over to switch it. Oh, man, he had the planted. double take in order to lock him down, but I'm not sure how Envy didn't spot him. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. So many tags as well from Team Secret. It's not able. I feel like they were just, uh, just dunked head first into a pool, Talon's pool, and Scott completely overwhelmed. All oh, this operator might not be long in Jeremy's hands. Well, they're on the hunt for it. Double pace in, but all well, the reload time, he tries to go for the no scope. It would have been stylish, but in the end, it's nicely done. In an awkward spot like that, right? So ultimately, Borkum's TP kind of hindered NDG from just having a bit more oh, angles to work go. with. Already, call coming through. Right Going this rotate. Up the from Bash. Ooh. Right here. Got the tag, trying to get the kill. Can't make it happen. So damage not going to be found in the end. Not ready yet. So talent. I mean, just. Kind of going right and then here. pumping the brakes, just pump faking secret a little bit here. Yeah. Oh, well, speaking of pump action. With the blade, spots out the two players outside of A main. Our first Bucky of the year. Really? Jeremy holding the corner and they're kind of pushing over towards him. Smoke coming down. Drone as well. I mean, they're actually taking this spike forward into the A side. The swing out. Envy. Oh! One. oh Jeremy as he rounds the corner. Isn't quite ready. There's the TP recovery and Chit Boys with a nice headshot on the Jesse Bash. Left. Zero point tells all. They know that NDG is going to be over at boats here. Sheriff could do some damage if the Nano Swarm goes off. He finds the headshot onto Ban. Giving his teammates a bit of a chance as Envy has that Vandal in hand. Welcome One now, however, sprinting down into the site. Chit Boys now. Ouch. Looking for that ace. Can he ace. find it? Yes, he can. Chit Boys coming up big. Puts him down. Back over towards that attacker spawn. Just outside of Gelato. Pull back to avoid that zero point. Secret wanting to see if they can get any kind of aggression out of Talon that they can swiftly punish. Right here. But Talon's not biting. Yeah. 
just holding for the most part. Vash even hasn't used his dart here, so it really is just a cut of noise. Are we just waiting for a couple more seconds and they're going to work their magic on here? I think this is the correct move for Talon as well, to just have Cruz somewhere on mid, but his contact was for that mid push, not to spot if anybody's going to be coming through mid through short. Paranoia is still held here by both of these omens. There's that opening contact, and Lenny gets dropped. Jeremy on the headshot. Governor trying to get the punish. Finally does, but takes so much damage in exchange, and man, just cannot stay alive here on the side. He gets taken down. We know that Governor has next to no health remaining. 30 seconds left. Onus is very much on Jin Poison Cruise to try to get them back across the line Ooh. here in this pistol round, but the paranoia looking good. Slows them up. Turret now on top of Jen. Gonna be cleared out. Jin Poison dead. Envy going big. Finds three. His team secret, bring it back within one. Governor looking to go aggro. Here. Not paying attention here towards top mid though, and now the swing comes in. Oh, oh man, bit of a trap set there, but oh! more than, never mind. I mean, Jeremy just blew this round wide open. Lenny now, last man standing, does have the Odin. They're not checking for him. They don't look left. They're not MP turners. Lenny guns him down, and now he's got the spike, but his back is turned, and Jesse Dash. He says, just think of the rabbits, Lenny. <laughs> just think of, look over there and just think of the rabbits. I can't handle all of this backstabbing. <laughs> oh, a stab for a back, a uh, stab on the back for a stab on the back there as a retaliation from Jesse Bash comes swift. But that spray transfer for Jeremy. That really solidified a huge control in that round. That was a bonus round too. And you're absolutely right. They saw that Governor was actually peeking out through mid and he was hard pressed on checking tiles, which allowed Borg, uh, Envy and the rest of Team Seeker to just react accordingly to the push. Well, <laughs> now they reset. May you live in right interesting times, as they say. <laughs> we certainly do. I mean, we it is, it is an upgraded Pacific League. <laughs> Absolutely unreal. They're playing close. Take flight. Lenny. Hello. No escape. And Jeremy. Another one. <laughs> Another one. Shit boys getting shocked out of down to 32. Maybe can get one. Yep, yeah, they will be able to lock down Jeremy as he dashes into the wall. Work good out for them though here. That's NDG turning the flash, not even really getting caught by that one. Put some good damage down on the governor before the headshot is received. Spamming through. Gonna be dropping back down here towards the site. Weapons are covered for both. Potential chance here for a good amount of damage to be dealt by Talon. 30 seconds yeah. left. Weapons already picked up. I do like how Vash is just, you know, playing at the back of the site. Also, Hold on, Vash hasn't planted the spike. No, they have not. Yeah, so they're really, I think they're just gonna buy as much time as they can. Well, wait, Vash? Not, does he realize? Ten seconds okay. left. Uh, one well, remaining. Van gets one. Governor, last, last one standing. standing. Oh no. Governor, still spike standing. Planted. Jesse Vash does have that Odin. Dash activated. He tries to drag it down. It's just a pixel off. Look at what I said on Breeze. We need to see good ult efficiency from them. They allow Governor to solo hold B main for the time being as they rotate Jit Boys all the way through A. Not a bad idea though. Jit Boys, uh, Jet Boys can get a kill that will translate into having his lockdown very My quickly. Bashido securing his own. Uh, ultimate orb here. Will definitely help them in turn. But it's going to be used to pinch something. I've never seen this blade used. Once the press. Because it's been used, Governor's been spotted. Now they know that the blades are somewhere here on B. Yeah, that's his knives gone. They get a quick clear there on the Nano Swarm. Have enough time to redraw. Just backing away for the time being. Dash at the ready. Smoke here to cover. He wants to try to go for the updraft. Yes, he does. No One of them there Who into run? the shoulder of NDG. Now Hunter's Fury is going to be popped. 
Just oh. Bash on the hunt, looking for the kill, and he's got it. Chit Boy's taken down. He will have his lockdown in depth. But now Borkum having crept forward into the A site. It's another kill. Jeremy in the meantime, back over towards B. Does get dropped. Ban finding that elimination. The run across, and oh man, somehow, some way, NB getting the hell out of Dodge. And DG pushes up, finds yet another kill, and with 12 seconds to spare, the plan comes down. It's Ban and Governor to try to win it out. He's got the late still. He's got to count for something. Oh, actually, I think NDG. If he had fallen back and actually got tagged by that zero point, it would have made them so cautious, but they're backing away anyway. They grab the Vandal. They opt to go for the save. But this time, time out here from Talon is not going to get them a round win. Team Secret moving up to 11, two rounds away from keeping themselves in this tournament and eliminating Talon. This is a route that I think perfectly embodies a Team Secret play. Vash having his ultimate, Pinch coming in from everywhere, Borkum gets that timely lurk. This is, I think what, again, Team Secret have done. Colt it seems like Team Secret right now just can do no wrong. Smoke gonna be sent out. Over just outside of A main here. Spike is being ushered towards B lobby. Governor on a bit of a walkabout. His way forward, gets himself over here towards bench. Doctor to try to clear some of that util. No breaks whatsoever. Workum's lurking by himself on A main just before they start hitting here on B. Cautionary shock dart for plenty. Tags, no one on the offense. As they time this, spots up, they put their way forward, and Lenny wow. able to find Jeremy before the door can shut. They'll destroy it very quickly. Secret Howard still making their way forward into the site. Lenny with a Hunter's Fury, does he send it to try to interrupt the plan? It looks like the answer's gonna be no. Spike does get planted here. NDG gonna hold back alley. Able to find one, but then Chit Boys does manage to shut him down. Still coming through, Governor. Wow! That is empty, finds two! Bruce wanting to push forward. Fragment holding him at bay for the time being. Drone goes out. He's been spotted. The break can continue. Standing. Jesse Bash melts him down through the wall, and Chip Boys doesn't stand a chance. What a play from in. I didn't even realize that he just was able to pocket himself inside of all of those smokes and somehow transition all of these kills. And he did took a second to get that kill. Look at his 180. What a spray transfer. I thought he was hoping that maybe he could find a pick. Like an off angle kill, especially with the pop shots that Jesse Bash was doing. But this is more of talent now playing into the hands of Secret. Every bait play that they do seems like Talon is just biting it. We're about to bite the dust. Down a player at match point. No idea in hell of where Secret wants to go. Time Start creeping out. forward, working their way now in towards B. Recon comes in. Ooh, what a free fire. Free oh. fire zip, but doesn't find any damage. Lenny just has to try to back away. Hunter's Fury is still there, but he hadn't used it in the previous round. Three ults to try to utilize here for Talon. Yeah. They're going to need every single one of them. Try to get this left. retake. Spike planted. Man out. Hunter Fury gets attacked onto one. Final shot, however, coming up short. Now NDG could also just oh utilize his own lockdown here as Jesse Nash will finally put Van down on the floor. Can they even get the res? They're looking forward. The reload goes in. He opens up once more, looking for some more targets. Takes them all dangerously low and in beat. Puts down Cruz. Lockdown going through. Lenny taken out. The flashbang to try to buy some space to buy some time, but there's just no way for Talon to get himself forward into the site. Jeremy pushes Alley, fights Chip Boy. And 13 to 7, Team Secret will keep themselves alive and in the tournament. They could only.